communication number 21 of 2024 on the membership to the mediation committee on the division of revenue bill national assembly bills number 14 of 2024. Honorable senators, as you may recall, at the sitting of the Senate held on Tuesday, 14 May 2024, I convened a message from the National Assembly that on Monday, 13 May 2024, the National Assembly, by resolution, rejected the Senate amendments to the Division of Revenue Bill, National Assembly Bills Number 14 of 2024. Consequently, the bill was committed to a mediation committee in accordance with the provisions of Article 112.2b of the Constitution. Senators, you can have your seats. In the message, the Speaker of the National Assembly appointed members of the National Assembly to the Mediation Committee to consider the bill in accordance with Article 113 of the Constitution. Honorable Senators, I uh, will recall that while conveying the message, I indicated that an appropriate time to appoint Senators to the Mediation Committee. Honorable Senators, pursuant to Article 113 one of the Constitution and standing under 166 two of the Senate and in consultation with the majority and minority party leaders, I appointed the following senators to the mediation committee. One, Senator Kaduri Murongi, MGH MP. Two, Senator Dr. Boni Kalwale, CBS MP. Three, Senator Fatuma Nduro, CBS MP. Four, Senator Jackson Mandago, NGH MP. Five, Senator Mohamed Chute, MP. Six, Senator Edwin Sifuna, MP. Seven, Senator Moses Kajuang, MP. Eight, Senator Agnes Kavidu Mudama, MP. And last but not the least, nine, Senator Andy Okech, MP. Vendile Telefriends, SCN stroke L, NP stroke MC 2024-03, dated 16 May 2024. The aforementioned names were communicated to the National Assembly. The Mediation Committee may therefore begin its work. I thank you. Next order. Honorable Senators, I'll just two, three comments, starting with the Deputy Minority Leader, Senator Mbua Kiyo. Is it Kiyo or Kiyo? It's Kiyo, Mr. Speaker. Kiyo. And I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for indulging us uh, to just make brief comments on, um, which is really just a procedural communication from the Chair. Mr. Speaker, the the names as read by the chair. The members that have been appointed to this mediation committee. I think the Senate has put its best foot forward. We have uh, nominated, in fact, when you look at that list from number one to number five, they are all titled leaders. The speaker, the expectation of this house as we release this team to go and mediate is that they should go with a firm position, not an inch more, not an inch less. Because as a speaker, the amount of money that this Senate has passed to go to the counties it's an amount that has been arrived at scientifically. It's not guesswork. We are taking care of very basic but important aspects in the counties. We are taking care of um, inflation. We are taking care of statutory deductions. We are taking care of non 
uh, discretionary uh, decisions that have been made by the national government that will have an effect on the spending of the counties. Mr. Speaker, we expect this team, and I'm happy that uh, Senator Madago is part of that team. He was uh, in the counties. We expect that this team would deliver 415 billion Kenya shillings to the counties. Mr. Speaker, I wish this team all the best, and I'm very sure that devolution will be better served. I thank you. Senator Modigi, Alexander. Just two minutes comment is good For enough. For speaker. Two minutes, kindly. Mimi nikiwa Senator Waimbu County na unga mukono. Kamati ambaye imetengenezwa, ambaye ya kutoka kwa liwa wengi na waliwa chache. Na wamehunda kamati ambaye ni watu ambaye wako na usunja. Ni watu wameremika wame vizuri. Na ni watu wameona ile matatizo imekuwa na county setu, county arupaine na sita, na sapa. Sio kumanisha, awale wengine wa esifanya kazi, kwa sababu najua tuko senator siti na sapa, lakini ile kamati imeweko pale, ni ya senator wa Meru Kathuri, na senator la Vikiwangu Kajwang, na senator ambayo wa Narobi, na senator wengine wale wame wako na husunja. Ningiomba muende musungumuze, musungumuze na mtuete, Matunda kwa sababu, munanjua county setu sote arupaine na sapa, mambo ya devolution imelete shinda kwa sababu county nyingi kama county ya embu county, ile pesa inaenda county ni kidogo na mire mbanjet ya mbae mangavano nataka wataka pesa nyingi. Kwa sababu munanjua anjenda yetu tukua masenator ni mambo ya kupereka, mambo ya devolution kule masinani, mambo ya elimu, mambo ya kilimo, Pia au watu wetu nataka manji ata ya irrigation na hiko na mambu mengi. Na tunajua mangavano wali wa chagulu wakati wa hiki pini ya, ya serikali ya Kenya Kwanza ni wako na unjusi wa kusaindia mwanainji mpaka masinani. Na tena Mr. Kajwani Senator mukienda muambia watu. Wanjue sile pesa tunataka hiende masinani. Ni hile mwanainji ya meripa usuru. Ni hile mwanainji ya merima. Ni hile mwanainji ya metavuta na njaso kubwa. Kwa miu ningeomba, muende muonge na wale, diyo tuweze kuona county setu, watapata pesa na muna gani, diyo weze kusaidia mwanainji. Mimi ni seto wa embu county, asanti na unga mkono yu kamati na mwanye mtuete ripotu musuri. Ni mimi ndakitari Alexander Mwini Mondigi. Asanti, asanti. Asante seneta wa embu. Senator Manzo Daniel. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your communication and for appointment of variable senators to go to the mediation. Mr. Speaker, Senate is here to defend devolution. At the moment uh, we make a proposal for monies to go to the counties, it is not upon uh, the National Assembly uh, to say that money can, can be scooped you know, from CDF. The money for CDF is fixed by the Constitution and cannot be touched. All we are asking is for sufficient monies to be added and sent to the counties. Mr. Speaker, uh, there, there are many nation, uh, county functions which have still been stuck to the nation, and we really want health to be fully devolved, agriculture to be fully devolved, and in fact, recently there are some markets allegedly be built in the counties by the national government. Mr. Speaker, it puts it in a very, the counties in a very difficult position that uh, these markets have to be designed from Nairobi, but the land they are going to be planted belongs to the counties, and the counties, it's, it's as if they have no role. Mr. Speaker, we want the counties to take their rightful place to take development uh, to the people and at the grassroots. And therefore, these monies, I am urging th that particular team, there is no budging, there is no going back. They have to make sure this money goes for devolution. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, we have not yet met the constitutional threshold. Uh, and therefore, uh, there must be sufficient money to make sure that devolution works, it functions, and that the counties get their rightful share so that they can develop. Most of what has been going to counties, Mr. Speaker, are just expenses and very little money for development. It is a high time this Senate insisted money for development to go to the counties, and I believe it will happen, Mr. Speaker, and it is uh, our, 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 our rightful and constitutional uh, expectation and duty to make sure devolution uh, is achieved through sending ma more money to the counties. Mr. Speaker, I support, and I thank you. Senator William Chaptumo. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to um, agree with my uh, colleagues who have spoken before me. Mr. Speaker, the membership, who are, whom you have read their names, I have no doubt in my mind, Mr. Speaker, that they have the capacity to match the team from the other side, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when the debate on this bill was done in the National Assembly, I had a moment to listen to the discussions in the National Assembly. And Mr. Speaker, I want to tell the team that there is a very serious concerted effort to mislead the country that governors don't deserve more money. And the reason, Mr. Speaker, and I know my colleagues were able to listen, is because they claim that there is corruption. I don't deny, Mr. Speaker, there's no corruption in our counties. That is true. But the solution of that particular vice of corruption is not to deny the county governments the money. It is to put in place measures to deal with the corruption. 